My name is Bishop Robert Dickerson. The final unit assignment of the course Communication 200, Understanding Human Communication, is to research, to write, and deliver a speech on one of the characteristics of communications that we've learned about in this course. I've chose the subject interpersonal communication. The purpose of this speech is to help the listener to better understand the meaning of, the elements of, and the principles of interpersonal communications. My thesis statement is that interpersonal communication is used to influence the attitudes and the behavior of others. Let me ask you a question this evening. Do any of you have a favorite comic strip character? Well, one of my favorite is the comic strip Peanuts. In one of mine, created episode, I find Lucy asking Charlie Brown, why is it that when I ask you a question, you never give me an answer? Charlie Brown, in his emotionless states, never says anything. She asks him again, Charlie Brown, why is it that when I ask you a question, you always never give me an answer? Is it because you know that I already know the answer to your question? Charlie Brown just shrugs his shoulders. Let me start out by explaining what interpersonal communication is. From the website www.skillsunique.com, the following information was obtained. Interpersonal communication is a process by which people exchange information, feelings, and meanings through verbal as well as nonverbal messages. Next, let me talk about the elements of interpersonal communication. The communicator. For any communication to occur, there must be at least two people involved. In fact, communications are almost always a complex two-way process. There's the message of interpersonal communications. Then there is the feedback. Feedback consists of messages the receiver returns, which allows the sender to know how exactly the message had been received. Sometimes words like, I don't understand, will you repeat that? As in the conversation between Lucy and Charlie Brown. And finally, I would like to talk about the principles of interpersonal communication. These principles underline the working in real life of interpersonal communication. Interpersonal communication is inescapable. We cannot communicate. The very attempt not to communicate communicates something. Interpersonal communication is irreversible. You can't really take back something once it has been said. And in closing, most of us engage in some form of interpersonal communication on a regular basis. How well we communicate with each other or a measure of our own interpersonal skill. So let us remember that interpersonal communication is, a, is used to influence the attitudes and the behavior of others. Interpersonal communication is a process of getting information from one person to another, and that there are elements as well as principles that underline the working in real life of interpersonal communication. Thank you very much for this opportunity to share with you this evening. God bless you.